guys. All right, thanks for uh, checking this out, checking out this video. And uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, we're talking about this little Blanca sketch that I used just a regular blue pencil. So let's jump right in on the vectors. So, um, opposed to a lot of other vector artists, they go in and start vector painting, whereas uh, I just do the old, old school point and click. Um, I would use like uh, my Cintiq um, or a brush, a vector brush, if I wanted to do some sort of uh, like specific flourish or a specific uh, uh, textured vector. But most of my stuff stylistically is, is a lot of thick outlines. Uh, stems from me always making mistakes with my lines and just making them bolder and bolder just to make it look like I did it on purpose. But uh, I tend to like doing the, the, uh, the bold lines and uh, they tend to work quite well if I do say so myself. But um, no, it's, uh, it's a really familiar uh, style for me and it comes quite easily in the point and click, I don't mind. Um, but uh, I've learned to illustrate it quite well to the point where I could save things, like save time. Uh, for instance, uh, coming up, uh, you'll see me start doing these things with blends. And blends are uh, a little way to do you know, some type of textured, flourishes or um, jotty lines, but um, here you can see I, I kind of screwed up, so I was like, you know, I, I don't think I want to use it that bold or that dark. So uh, I go in and just start outlining them and then uh, uh, editing them there. Um, this is almost done, really, with the, the black and white part. Uh, I try to keep it very simple and very bold and outlined so that the color could come through a lot easier. And I think we're jumping into it now. So I used the uh, old Street Fighter um, Blanca image as reference for color. And uh, you can see that I jumped right in on the blacks and put it to a green. It looks kind of odd right now, but I think when you bring in the, the skin tone and see like right there, I, my kids would say, whoa, that looks great, Dad. But uh, once you bring in even more tone and more gray or uh, uh, gray values in there um, of the colors, it starts to really pop. And uh, so these are just bringing in some of those base colors uh, underneath the uh, darker outlines. Um, yeah, you just have fun with this. Make sure that, you know, it kind of lends itself to shadows, although like I'm going on one side and then going on the other and, you know, stylistically it looks all right, but uh, realistically it's, it's not hitting all the, hitting all the, pin, the, the right uh, points for highlights. Oh, speaking of highlights, there are some right there that I just added on top of all of them. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm not really going with a lot of texture letting the line work and the bold colors kind of do their job uh, as well as like the tone here I'm working in the hair tone uh, trying to get a darker color and we'll see when I put it the, uh, the orange base you turn that layer on it'll start working see right there now uh, what's fun is that you get to edit them and hair is always there's never a real you know, science behind it, just make sure that the flow is going the right way. Um, the fun part is doing the highlights and that. Uh, I used to go in and really start adding uh, the darker tone on top of the highlight, but in this instance, I just want to just make it real basic and straightforward and have a highlight on top of everything else. So uh, now I'm going back into the green tone and trying to bring in even more shadow uh, making sure it uh, kind of lends itself to every little aspect that would be a little bit darker than everything else I didn't plan on going on too much detail on the teeth but once I started drawing I figured you know what I'll make 
every single tooth pop out instead of see how he, he, the person who did that uh, original drawing was just kind of like a, a big mouthpiece with fangs sticking out. But uh, yeah, and then now I'm just doing the interior of the mouth, making sure that that looks right. See, I'll, I'll skip over to the things that I haven't uh, tackled before and then it's kind of like a a mind fart and be like, oh, I forgot to do that. So I'll go back and do that and uh, jump right back into what I was doing originally, which was the teeth. So here we go with a little bit more dark colors. I start I decide to add a, even darker on the hair just because it's so flamboyant. And uh, I think I start going back in and bringing even more darker greens. Um, I figured out that a leg could lend itself <laughs> into this, uh, to the, the whole piece, so I decided to throw a leg in there just to make sure that that action of punch or jolting across is, is very apparent. Adding some more details, and this is what I used, I used the uh, vector as a base and then threw it into Photoshop, had fun with that. A um, little bit messy. I kind of like the original vector, but whatever, right? Let's try it out. Well, something happened there in the background. I don't know where that came from, but. And that's all. Oh, I'm going. Thanks for watching.